What's up, YouTube? This is 2Raw4TV. So, uh, it's looking more and more likely. And I think the Brooklyn Next organization uh, is coming to the, the realization that Kyrie Irving more than likely will not go through the six-point plan or the six-step plan uh, that they're requiring him to uh, take in order to be uh, allowed to play for organization again. And just to do a brief recap of these steps, number one is issue an apology for posting a link to the movie on October the 27th. And I'm assuming they may prefer that he apologize a la Jimmy Swagger, like, you know, blubbering and getting on both knees and begging for forgiveness and probably record it and then condemn the harmful and false content and make clear that he does not have any anti-Jewish beliefs. But I thought he's already done that. So, I mean, how do you make clear? Like, let me ask you something. Do you want him to take his heart out for you to analyze to see whether there's any anti-Semitism residue on it? All right, because if somebody tells you I'm not racist, how do you really know what's in people's heart? I mean, isn't it kind of like there's always going to be people who aren't going to be satisfied? It's stupid, right? Complete the anti-hate causes that uh, Irving, the Nets, and the Anti-Defamation League agreed upon in their joint release on November 2nd including a $500,000 donation towards causes and organizations that work to eradicate hate and intolerance in communities. Well, you know what's so funny about these donations is, you know, Kyrie Irving donated $1.5 million to the WNBA because of, of salary and financial inequities, and the WNBA and their gratitude have pounced on Kyrie Irving and called him an anti-Semite and denounced him. So, you know... It's funny how these they can take your money and then turn on you in a fucking dime. All the millions that Bill Cosby has given to organizations in the past, and they want to condemn him and take away his honorary degrees and all of this shit. Well, I tell you what, give back the millions of dollars that he's fucking granted to you over the years. Complete sensitivity training created by the Nets. Complete anti-Semitic, anti-hate training designed by the Nets. Meet with representatives from the Anti-Defamation League as well as Jewish community leaders in Brooklyn. After completing 1-5, through five, meet with owner Joe Tsai and lead franchise officials and demonstrate the lessons learned and that the gravity of the harm caused in the situation is understood and provide assurances that this type of behavior will not be repeated. Mind you, it's not like he's gone out and said a series of anti-Semitic uh, statements. He shared a link. Let's, 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 let's look at this situation again. He shared a link to a movie that at best you could say he should have did a little bit more research on, maybe. I don't know. It's funny because this movie's popping up everywhere. <laughs> you know, I, I wish that they would show the same energy toward Jeff Bezos and Amazon, but of course they're not. Um, and the movie's doing very well. You know, for a movie that came out almost four years ago, it's having quite the renaissance. But it's not because of Kyrie Irving, it's because of the media. The media's promoting the fucking movie. And to be quite honest with you, the way that the left, th this is why you guys lose elections, right? This is why you lose elections. The left loves to cannibalize or eat its own. You aggravate your own. And usually it's the more downtrodden members of the so-called Democratic coalition. Whenever there's somebody to blame, it's us. I'm going to talk about that in the video I'm here to do. Whenever there's someone to shit on, it's us. 
right? But yet, every two to four years, they tell us, come out and vote. Come out and vote. I mean, Trump is worse. Really? I can't tell. Literally. Um, has our lives gotten any better since Joe Biden become president? You know, yeah, the, the media doesn't like to report hate crimes that happen against black people when Democrats are in the office, but they still happen. Our economy is still shitty. Gas prices are still relatively high. Food prices are fucking high. Our standing in the world is at an all-time low. I mean, what the fuck? But anyway, just want to share that, man. I don't think... Kyrie Irving is coming back. We'll have to wait and see. I know um, the basketball, the National uh, Basketball Players Association is saying that they're considering uh, challenging Kyrie Irving's suspension, but I, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath on that. But tell me what you guys think.